New developments tonight. An Indianapolis man is headed to prison for his reckless actions in a hit and run that caused the death of a six month old boy. Yeshua Shafford and his family were visiting Indianapolis, contemplating a move to our city to escape the violence of Chicago. But as Derek Thomas reports, all they got was death and despair. The father of the six month old victim called the defendant a coward, saying he ran instead of offering aid to his dying son. Mr. Shinneman, do you apologize for what happened? Anything at all to say? The defendant was consistently silent inside and outside the courtroom. But on the night of March 4th, he drove his car 91 miles per hour along West 38th Street. He bumped into the rear of a car driven by Warren Shafford, causing it to spin and crash. Six month old Yeshua Shaffer was ejected from the back seat of the vehicle and landed under a guardrail. His father hustled to find him and instead encountered Shinneman. I talked to the guy. He uh, told me that he didn't do it. It was somebody else pointed out another guy at the scene and then he ran. So, you called him a coward? Yes. It, Talk about it. He is. He is. Uh, Call him how you see him? Yeah. And, he just got what he deserves, man. Yeah, I wish it was more time, but it's not. Shinneman was sentenced to four years in prison and one year on work release. After that is completed, he must serve three years on probation. I'm satisfied. I don't feel good about it. I mean, I wish he could have got life, but unfortunately, that's not what the law allowed. According to the plea agreement, five years was the most Shinneman could have received, but there are safeguards in the probation requirements. During that probationary term, he will be on alcohol monitoring to make sure that he is not consuming any alcohol, and the judge made it very clear that during that three-year period, if it is determined that he consumes any alcohol or violates probation in any way, he will serve the remainder of a sentence in the Department of Corrections. Shinneman's driver's license is also suspended for five years. In Indianapolis, Derek Thomas, RTV6. Shinneman was on probation for a prior drunk driving case at the time of that latest offense.